Good afternoon, MPC. I have a statement to make. The United States 2020 budget contains a provision which authorizes the U.S. Secretary of State to ban government officials in the Philippines from entering their territory about whom he has, quote, credible information have been involved in the wrongful imprisonment of Senator Lila de Lima, unquote. While some media outlets have been twisting this information in their headlines as an outright ban against Philippine officials involved in the case of Senator de Lima from traveling to the U.S., we have explained repeatedly that the subject provision is ineffective given that the Philippine, Filipino senator is not wrongfully detained and therefore the impossibility of the U.S. Secretary of State to receive credible information with regard thereto. Should a ban from entry into U.S. territory be enforced against Philippine officials involved in or by reason of Senator de Lima's lawful imprisonment, this government will require all Americans intending to come to the Philippines to apply and secure a visa before they can enter Philippine territory. Meanwhile, the Philippines is immediately ordering the Bureau of Immig Immigration to deny U.S. Senators Dick Darbin and Patrick Liet Lietchi, the imperious, uninformed, and gullible American legislators who introduced the subject provision in the 2020 budget entry to the Philippines. The case of Senator De Lima is not one of persecution, as we repeatedly said, it's one of prosecution. In fact, it is already being tried by our courts. And no less than the highest court of the land, the Supreme Court, has ruled on the validity of her detention as being lawful and valid. No other state can dictate upon our officials judges and justices, the matter upon which we enforce and interpret our own laws. Vis-a-vis -vis those who are believed to have committed a violation against our laws. We reiterate that the Philippines and we address this specifically to the senator's name, as well as those who approve that provision, that we, the Philippines, is an independent and sovereign state, and it stands in parity with all other states, including the United States, in any form of pressure that is deemed or tantamount to an interference into our established justice system or other processes shall be reciprocated in accordance with our municipal law as well as public international law or the law of nations. In other words, we will not sit idly if they continue to interfere with our processes as a sovereign state. 